för ett par veckor sedan firade alla Whitesnack älskare en något för tidig julafton. Det var ju då Nya Alpen slippade tang rensades ut i skiv. Inte rensade men rasslade ut i skivbutikerna. Jag sprang fram till skivspelet till micken här så blev lite uh. Men eh, som vanligt då så har det tagit då ganska lång tid mellan förra Alpen 1987 och den här nya då. Närmare bestämt två år och åtta månader. Men okej, okay, nu är den i alla fall här. Nya Alpen och naturligtvis har jag då ringt till Mr. Whitesnake själv. David Coverdale som berättar så här om Nya Alpen Slip of the Tank. For me is the most positive and the most optimistic Whitesnake album uh, and it is certainly the first Whitesnake group album whereas everybody is working together as a team and nobody is trying to stab people in the back. So it is a very, very healthy uh, and very promising time in the history of Whitesnake. But I've had good news today. Aha, the LP in the second week in America is number 13 with a bullet. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm very, <laughs> very happy. David, to me the new songs uh, aren't as direct as the songs on 1987. Do you agree? Well, there's a lot of musical information, Pa. Mm -hmm. um, the, it is not an immediate album, but some of the songs take a little bit more than one or two listenings to understand. There's some of them, there's a lot of musical information there. But White Snake has always been a rhythm and blues hard rock band, and hopefully we learn how to finesse uh, White Snake as we go along. In what way have you been writing the songs this time? I wrote the songs with Adrian Vandenberg. It was the most powerful and uh, creative exchange I've ever had. He is a true partner and a, a true friend, and it was uh, an absolutely precious time for me. It is the first time I've really had a, a true 50-50 partner when I come to writing songs. But Adrian Vandenberg is not playing on the album. He was hand injured. What happened to him? Well, he, he bought him a, 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 music, a piano player's exercise manual. Uh, and one of the exercises was supposed to strengthen your wrist. But the exercise stretched the tendons in both of his hands oh, no. uh, to the point where he couldn't even hold the guitar. So we waited for six weeks in the studio while he saw doctors and specialists and mas Swedish massage. Swedish. And unfortunately, it was too, uh, too extreme. So he gave us his trust and his blessing to continue with Steve. So uh, you called Steve, Steve Y instead? Yeah, well, Steve has been in my mind since I saw a movie called Crossroads many years ago. And the time would not have been right for me to have talked to him then. But for the last six months of 1988, I had people doing research into how, what kind of character he was, if he was happy, and everything I heard uh, was just too good to be true. Mm -hmm. And now I know the man, uh, it was the truth. The guy is he's a wonderful uh, human being and a master, master musician. He's a sorcerer. You really sound um, great, satisfied, David. Oh, I've never been so happy. <laughs> I, I've never been so happy. If people, I feel as if I could light up this city and melt all the snow in Sweden. <laughs> and David, you are still singing about love with a big L. It's your favorite theme, isn't it? It is the most important. I have my political beliefs and I have my political awareness and my environmental awareness, but my main inspiration has always been the human drama. The physical exchange, the emotional trauma and joy, it's the most fascinating uh, subject I find that motivates me and inspires me to write. They're all taken from my life. They're all kind of lyrical diaries. True stories, or? Oh yes, only the names are changed to protect the innocent. So uh, those lyrics are David Coverdale? Very much so. If somebody uh, reads the lyric very carefully, they can know me uh, very easily. Even the sex, on a good night. Snake-namn, you're gone from the help and slip of the tongue som rent budskapsmässigt är den absolut mest positiva platta som White Snake hittills har gjort. Ja, det berättade som ni hörde, du var mycket upp och glad David Coverdale, du har ringde honom här i veckan. Och alla de nya låtarna, de är skrivna av det nya White Snake låtskrivarparet nämligen David själv och så gitarristen Adrian Vandenberg som på grund av handledsskador tyvärr inte kunde vara med då de spelade in den här plattan. Och det var så här dråpligt att Adrian då, han tyckte att han före skivinspelningen borde träna upp vigheten i handlederna och fingrarna. Så han, ja vad gjorde han då? Jo han köpte ett träningsprogram av en pianist. 
Och den här underkuren då, den gjorde istället att Adrian för tillfället gick under som gitarrist. Han fick sträckningar i varenda handmuskel så han kunde inte ens hålla gitarren. Och det var alltså då som David ringde till Steve Wai som kom och räddade då det sjunkande skeppet i studion. Och sen dess är det alltså då både Adrian och Steve, de är fasta bandmedlemmar i Whitesnake. Och eh, precis som på förra LP 1987 så har då David även den här gången tagit med gammalt material, nämligen den gamla hitten Fool for Your Loving, ursprungligen på LP Ready and Willing som kom 80. Och då är ju naturligtvis frågan, varför gör de nyinspelningar av gamla Whitesnake-låtar? Well, if it was up to me with my new colleagues, I would re-record every Whitesnake song. Because they are the first time I've ever worked with people who are as passionate about their work uh and is uh, dedicated uh as as myself you see the thing is i've been uh, i'm more ruthless on myself than ever i've been on other people uh-huh. and it is a pleasure now to work with such a uh a team of of, of professional and good people yeah you've got a complete new lineup what made you change uh, every member from the 1987 lineup well this is most uh, mostly the group from the uh, from the touring uh, a group that that supported the 87 album um the the, it, the before the 87 album it was more or less session things because there was not a healthy atmosphere within the relationship between all of the musicians um each musician was there for his own device and not for the group and uh, Or everybody wanted a piece of a pie that was not baked. Yeah, and was... It, it is my choice to work with people um, who who do not try to compromise the concept of White Snake. White Snake be, uh, has always been a vehicle for good rock and roll songs. Yeah, but, but I sincerely hope that we keep our common sense together and keep this group uh, together because it is it's too good. It is too good to uh, to let go. Anyway. Uh... Let's talk about your new lineup, all familiar names. So why don't you introduce them to us? The you today's okay. White Snake. Ladies and gentlemen, the sound of trumpets. <laughs> In the blue corner, Adrian Vandenberg on guitar. In the red corner, Steve Vai on guitar. Rudy Sarzo on bass. Tommy Aldridge on drums. And Sven Spenson on vocals. <laughs> Great, David. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, the title and the title track on the new album is called Slip of the Tongue. What's the story behind that lyrics? That is a, 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 a different angle of looking at things. Usually in hard rock the man is always the, uh, the predator, you know, the big cheese. But this time uh, in Slip of the Tongue the woman is the dominatrix. She's the power, the man is the slave. And those things do happen. Titta på det på Whitesnakes nya LP Slip of the Tank som handlar om ett förhållande där kvinnan är den mest dominanta parten istället för mannen som är det gamla vanliga. Och det berättade David Coverdale som också förklarade varför de gör nyinspelningar av gamla Whitesnake-låtar. Jo, det nämligen så här att David tycker att de musiker som han har haft de senaste åren är de absolut bästa och mest intresserade som han någonsin har haft. Så han vill då helt enkelt ge de gamla nya låtarna en ny chans att bli riktigt bra. Och förresten en stor turné är på gång om man räknar att komma till Sverige någon gång om cirka ett år. Månadens LP för andra veckan i rad är Trouble Walking med Space Ace Freely. Och ikväll lägger vi på öppningsspåret. Öppningsspåret som heter Shut Full of Rock.